Hi there, this is Johnny Miller from Point Blank Online Music School. Uh, I'm here to show you some really cool stuff with Ableton Live 8 and sounds and samples from clickproduce.com. This week uh, we're going into, we're venturing into hard techno and trance territory and um, looking at a product from Blue Zone called Hard Techno and Trance. Um, not a genre, an area of dance music that I'm that familiar with, but it's been really interesting looking into this and um, looking at, at these sounds. And, you know, if you're into filthy dubstep or you want to kind of bring in some hard edge sounds into your hip hop, then, you know, you've got some actually quite useful sounds in here. It's not just for if you're into hard techno, it's not just for, for, um, for that genre. So let me go in here and have a look at this folder. We've got two of the same thing, essentially. We've got AFs and WAVs. I'm going to go into the WAV library and show you what we've got. We've got three folders, uh, drum loops, all at 142 beats per minute. And these are all pretty industrial sounding loops. So we've got quite heavy, distorted vibes on these kick drums and drum sounds here. Lots of grit, lots of dirt. And again, if this is your thing, this is a perfect sound library for you. Um, we've also got, you know, sounds that were used to make those loops in here as single samples. So this is again where if you make dubstep and you want to get some dirty drum sounds into your dubstep tracks, this is the place to go. Um, we've also got a folder of sound effects, which are little sweeps and little touches. And I'm going to show you a really cool trick using Ableton Live's clip envelopes function to get some of those sound effects uh, kind of working together and talking to one another. But let me show you what I've got in Session View so far. And I've chosen a couple of these loops. Um, the first one is like a rhythmic loop. So it's like a percussion element, essentially. And on top of that, I've just got uh, a simple drum loop here, just which sounds just like a distorted kick drum. And um, it's got quite a nice groove to it. So if we put those two together, we get quite an interesting little loop. Again, very, very hard, but the percussion element in there keeps it interesting for me. So I'm going to go in now and start adding some other sounds just to start building up a little track. And um, let's pick some of these um, little sounds here. I'm going to go for this one for now. And uh, I'm going to choose another one quickly, actually. Um, yeah, this will do, number seven. All right. So just stop those first two clips and have a look at these now. Now I'm going to use the loop brace in this audio clip just to bring the looping region down a little bit on this sample. And just kind of home in on the middle section. Maybe actually I'll extend that out a bit. And I can use some warping warp markers just to stretch out the audio there so I get quite an interesting little stretch of audio to create like a like a constant tone almost. Now I'm going to go to clip envelopes which is down the bottom here just hit the little E icon and we've got superimposed on top of my audio waveform here inside the audio clip I've got these controls I've got transpose for pitch and this pink line is literally your your value so if I turn take, take that pink line and move it into the upper regions, I'm transposing that sample up. If I move it down, I'm transposing the sample down. So that's how clip envelopes work. So I'm actually going to leave that at zero and go into volume and do something a little bit more simple. I'm just going to draw in, using draw mode, a little volume change. So we get this kind of thing. So I'm only actually playing the first half of that audio region there. I'm turning down the second part of that clip. Now I'm going to use the second clip to offset that and actually set up something quite similar to what I've just done. But this time using, let's set this up again, using clip envelopes to play the second part. So now in this second clip, let's play this. So that's another little crazy kind of continual tone that I've created there using warp markers just to stretch the audio about and get something interesting here. 
and I'm going to go back into clip envelopes, in fact I'm already in clip envelopes, go to volume and this time I'm going to turn down the first half of the clip. Okay, so on audio three, I've got the first half playing on the clip, and audio four, I've got the second part of the clip playing. Let's put those two together. And they'll kind of alternate with one another. Okay, let's put my beat on. So this could be one little section of my track. Let's maybe bring in the percussion now. So I've just basically built up a couple of simple elements there, just using samples from the sound effects section um, of the uh, sample pack, and you know using clip envelopes to just go in and do something interesting, create some dynamics between these two. Now I could get a little bit busier with this and start maybe making slightly more interesting volume changes. So let's have a listen to this one now. This is one of the nice things about using clip envelopes in Ableton. It gives us the opportunity to create variation. So I can copy this, this first blue clip down and just do something else with the copy. Um, let's try this. Let's do something a little bit busier. But again, just in the second portion. Just draw this incorrectly. Here we go. Let's just turn these other clips off so we can hear that. Let's make another variation. So I use the shortcut Command D there to duplicate. Let's go in now and make a, a volume variation. Again, I'm just kind of drawing in something random to be nice and quick. And that's another variation. Let's play between those three. Okay, so you can learn more cool stuff like this at uh, pointblankonline.net and uh, I'll be back again next week uh, right here to show you some cool stuff with Live 8 and sounds and samples from uh, the good people at clickproduce.com.